Okay, I'm at the entrance to a cave. I have no idea what kind of cave this is. It doesn't look like an erosion cave. It does not look like a lava tube. It does not look like a solution cave. Honestly, I think it's just um, a crack in the ground. Like, when maybe when the cave solidified, it cooled and expanded or something weird like that. I don't know. But yeah, there's the sketchy walkway I just walked down. That's my only way back out. Actually, I saw some other guys, they went up the rocks to the side there. I didn't even think of that, but that might work actually too. Whatever. Anyway, so I'm gonna be quiet. Uh, it's still March, so there might be hibernating bats in here. So I'll be very, very quiet. Anyway, let's see here. I just went through this cave once already. It's a uh, cool, very, very interesting cave. It's a partially, at least partially artificial. Honestly, I'm not even sure if it's entirely natural or what. If it was dug out, it took a lot of work to dig out. But honestly, I think it's partly natural. It's like partly natural and then they, you know, upgraded it a bit. Something like that. Okay, I have to be careful here. I'm cleaning up this sketchy ladder. That's a word I've been using a lot lately. Sketchy. This place is sketchy. There's a lot of dry dust in here. I was nice and clean and sanitized when I got here. Whoa, there's a way down here. But yeah, it's too hard for me. I ain't going down there. Wow. Let's see if I can turn around. But look at this. Look how these rocks up here. Loose rocks up there, barely wedged in. I could probably pull it down on myself, trigger an avalanche, seal off the cave, kill myself, and all sorts of stuff all at once. So I'm gonna try not to touch any loose rocks. It's like a little way back there, too small for people. But look at this, this huge rock ahead, looks like it's being held up by this one big piece of wood. I don't wanna know how hard it'd be for that wood to rot away and collapse. <laughs> boy. Yeah, this place is very interesting. Very creepy. <clears throat> Notice there's natural light ahead. Notice this wall here is obviously artificial. People piled this up. This is like a giant underground bunker. Okay, this room here to the left is a dead end. So I'm gonna leave my backpack out here. See if I can go in head first. It's a little bit of a drop off ahead. But I don't think it'll be enough to get me stuck. <clears throat> yeah, it's only like a one foot drop. Even I can handle that. <sighs> Uh, okay, that was less than graceful. All right, well, I'm in, aren't I? All right. So yeah, obviously this wall here is artificial. This one looks like it's got horizontal layers, but whether it got dug out or what, I couldn't say. Looks like back here, there's a little bit of litter. And it looks like here on this side, vertical scratches like somebody's been trying to dig somewhat successful. But notice, there are a few small holes up here. Okay, my flashlight's being glitchy. Uh -huh. All right, let's try this again. So let me look over here. That's the way I came through from the right. I'll go left next, I'm gonna keep going clockwise. And there's a little peephole through here. Don't ask me why. There's a little peephole through there. A few small holes up there, or no, are like missing rocks. And then that's the way out. See, it's about, I don't know, three feet high, two feet wide. It's doable, unless you're, you know, really big muscle or else, not really 
me to judge. <laughs> the point is, either you're going to fit or you're not. So be careful of that. Luckily, I'm somewhat thin, so I was able to fit through there. You should see the other parts of this cave, though. Some very tight parts of this cave. I couldn't, I haven't seen a map of this cave, so I couldn't tell you what percent of the cave I've explored. Okay, so that's where I just was, right in there. This is the way I came. That's the only way out. I'm gonna go this way. Notice it branches to the left and the right. It's dozens of feet up. <laughs> 